All right, in this video, we are going to try and find the area of this blue rectangle and it's nestled nicely inside of a right triangle. So let's see if we could get working on this. I think, I think there's going to have two solutions. One is kind of a longer one. One is going to be quicker. Stick around for the short, beautiful one. But I'm going to do the long one first and then wrap us up with a surprising uh, conclusion at the very end. All right, so uh, let's take a look at this. So what we've got going on here is we've got this triangle and it's broken up into three pieces. You could see we got a, a triangle up at the top, triangle down at the bottom, and then a rectangle in the middle. And so we can kind of find the area of this triangle, the big triangle, in two different ways. Uh, so the first way that we could do it is we could say, well, I don't know what this length is, but let's call it A. I don't know what this length is, but let's call it B. So I'm going to just kind of finish that out. All right, so we know that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, or one half times the base times the height. All right, so uh, I can see that the base is B plus three. I can see that the height is four plus A. So one way to find the area of this triangle is to say one half times the base, which is B plus three times the height, which is four plus A. That's one way to find the area. And I'm gonna sit on that for a little bit. And so I'm gonna just kinda put it small and put it right there and say, okay, there we go. That's one way to find the area of the triangle. A second way to find the area of the triangle is to break it up into three separate pieces. This piece, this piece, and this piece, and kind of write it as one long formula. And now I'll have two different ways to find the area of this triangle, and we could set them to equal each other, and hopefully this rectangle will fall out, and it'll just pop out right, on, right into our laps. So uh, let's find this the area of the triangle in that second way, which is this triangle plus this rectangle plus this triangle. All right, so let's do that in uh, blue. So first we're gonna do one half, so I'm gonna say the area is equal to, and then we're gonna do one half uh, base times the height. So that is this triangle right here. Now let's do this triangle right down here. So that's gonna be plus one half times the base times the height. And so that's this second triangle right there. And then we're going to finish it off by saying, and we're going to add in the rectangle, which is base times height. All right. So that second, this is the second way of finding the area of that in triangle. So we have the first way. Now we have the second way. And uh, let's simplify this a little bit. So that's going to be two times B is equal to three halves a plus a b so there we go in fact we don't need the two times the b so i'm just going to put two b all right so we have two different ways to find the area of that triangle and they should both be equal to each other shouldn't they so i'm going to i'm going to write an equation so that they are equal to each other so i'm going to say 2b plus 3 halves a plus a b that's this guy is supposed to equal this guy, which is one half times B plus three times four plus A. Uh, yeah, one half base times height, all right? So now these two equations are supposed to equal each other. And now let's do some math to see if, I don't know, if we can find AB somewhere. Like I see AB sitting here uh, let's see, right there. And I know that an AB is going to happen here when we multiply these two binomials. So let's just see what, what's going to happen. So I'm just going to continue with the, um, the algebra. I'm going to first multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of that fraction. And so that becomes 4B plus 3A plus 2AB is equal to, and then B plus 3 times 4 plus a, all right? So multiplying everything by two kind of got rid of our denominators there. And let's just continue with the algebra. So nothing for us to do on the left side. 
but the right side, we can multiply those two binomials. And so we're going to get 4b plus ab plus 12 plus 3a. And uh, oh, this is really kind of kind of neat. I could see that the 4b cancels with the 4b. I could see that the 3a cancels with the 3a. And I can move this ab and get rid of him. So that's going to give us. Uh, so I'm going to I'll be a little bit more explicit here. I'm going to subtract an AB from both sides. And so I end up with AB is equal to 12 and I'm done. We now know that the area of this rectangle right here is 12 because A times B is equal to 12. And so we're done. Now that's the 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 long way that I told you about. The short way is really, really elegant. Let me show you this. This is really kind of cool. Uh, let's say we are, we look at this line right here. And now that line has a slope, doesn't it? And so <laughs> this is really kind of cool. Uh, so this slope to go from here to here, the slope is it goes down four over B. So here, it goes down four over B. So there's our slope. But then from this middle point to this bottom point, our slope is something different, isn't it? Our slope here is down A over three. So our slope is down A over three. And yet, even though these two slopes look different, it's all part of the same line. So we really know that those two slopes, even though they look different, are actually the same. So we now know that negative four over B is equal to negative A over three. Doing our little cross products kind of a thing, we end up with negative 12 is equal to negative AB. Uh, I don't know if you know about that little trick, doing our little cross products there. So we get negative 12 is equal to negative AB, which means AB is equal to 12. So there is a very short, quick way of solving this problem and finding out that the area of our rectangle is 12. So if you're still here watching this video, uh, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, do all those things. Feel free to leave a comment. I love watching your comments. If you have some ideas about how I could have solved it in a quicker way, go ahead and leave a comment as well. So, all right, thank you very much.